this was another video I wanted to go through. Uh, let's see. Let's pull it up. <laughs> I think I did hear this video before, and there's a there's a little bit of of <laughs> language. So if you're sensitive to profanity or anything, this uh, you know, I just say just tune off. Or if there's kids watching, you probably don't want to um, let them watch this. But uh, it just. Uh, I hope there's more music like this coming out. <laughs> and you may not think I'm a good Christian or a good pastor, and you may not invite me to your church. That's okay. I'll love you anyways. I'll pray for you. But I do like good music, and especially in this time, I think music is healing for the soul. Now, I said again, there's a little bit of choice words in here, a little bit of profanity, just like in Tom McDonald's song, but... Let's just press play. This is uh, Made in China by Aaron Lewis. So this song is pretty self-explanatory. China from all the cheapest parts and I ain't one for driving them imported foreign cars I'm more like American muscle from 1966 cause I ain't made in China I'm American as it gets are you an American? Because I'm proud to be an American. I love it. And I ain't made by a Uyghur kid for pennies on the dollar. I'm made in the USA, it says so on my collar I'm China and true, red, white and blue My roots run way too thick Cause I ain't made in China Cause I'm American as it gets Come on! And I'm Drapes over the caskets And the ones that don't come back I'm a gun toe and locked and loaded Got fear and subtle Lord knows I ain't made in China Cause I'm American as it gets Red-blooded as they come I'll die for being free Proud of where I'm from Foreign made or city raised I'm proud to say I'm neither I ain't selling them many of mine And I ain't buying theirs either If you got something to say about that Well you can suck my d Cause I ain't made in China Cause I'm American as it gets I 
flag that drapes over the caskets of the ones who don't come back. I'm a gun toting, locked and loaded, got fear in son of a bitch. Lord knows I ain't made in China. Cause I'm American as it gets Lord knows I ain't made in China Cause I'm American as it gets Jeff Sherrell, what's up, man? I miss you in the studio. I need my guy up in here. And then I see uh, another guy has just jumped on, uh, Light of the World. What's up, brother? You said uh, you're not into rap or Christian rap, but the topic on Trump and God is interesting. It absolutely it absolutely is. Um, we're living in uh, an interesting time here. Uh, let's see. There's Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah um interesting 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 uh and that is a prophetic song <laughs> i ain't made in china i hope you're not made in china nothing against the chinese i love you but you know what's interesting about america is we could go to china but we'll never really be uh uh you know chinese if we can go to russia we're not russian we could go to any country in the world but anyone in the world can come here and become an american uh, I think that's an amazing thing about America. It's the melting pot. And uh, I'm a couple generations in uh, as a Mexican-American, but, man, I'm American first. America first. And that's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you need prayer, leave a, leave a comment in the uh, comment section. And I will... Take some time to pray for you. And don't forget to continue to pray for President Trump. Um, we're going to be doing some things here in Arizona, some meetings that we're going to put on the calendar. I'll let you guys know what we're doing and when we're doing it. But I believe in October, we are going to call all patriots, all Christians, all conservatives to come together. We're going to do a little rally of our own here in Arizona, and we are going to pray for each other. We're going to pray for this nation, almost like a national day of prayer, but we want to do this uh, for, for anyone here that's in Arizona. We want to pray for you. We want to pray for this nation, pray for President Trump, and pray for the November 5th election, and, uh, and encourage everyone to go out and vote. I heard from a friend of mine that there's a large percentage of Christians that are choosing not to vote, and I would love to encourage you, please, please get off the fence and think of this nation and the impact that one person can have. Many people don't know how much power that one person has, and here in the United States, if all the people that were sitting on the sidelines, came to stand with others to do the right thing, it'd be a bigger turnaround. So I want to encourage you guys to go out and vote. 